Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borty, and this is going to be another video on Artisan's 2024 lineup. Just some updated pads. All of these pads you're going to see did not exist a year ago. I mean, there is a Heat and a Raiden in here, but they're a little bit special too, and I'm going to get into that. But a lot of you guys saw my Type 99 review, and that pad is actually going to be available in a few weeks' time, supposed to be sometime in May. Um, but this is actually the gray color, which is kind of crazy. I figure this will be a good amount of you guys' uh, first time seeing the gray. Um, I should pull out some black mouse pads so there can be a comparison. And yeah, you can see that this truly is a gray color. But yeah, performance wise, at first I was like, oh, were these smoother than the Type 99 prototypes I had? But no, these are, it's just the same Type 99 as the pre-production samples. But of course, in the gray and matcha colors, some people were like, oh, this isn't a matcha. In person, it looks like a tennis ball. I would say like tennis ball green is kind of what this gets close to. Um, but yeah, this is pretty incredible. Artisan's kind of like Apple, where they don't need to do like AI art, anime girl. They can just put a new color and it kind of like revolutionizes the market. Um, but yeah, since this is like a light colorway, I do think it will like show up dirty kind of quick. But I mean, yeah, this has been a fantastic pad. This is the uh, mid variant and I've just really enjoyed my time on it despite it being a much more controlled pad. So yeah, the Type 99 with multiple colors in the XXL size is going to be available in just a few weeks. So that is one new pad from Artisan, um, but there will be multiple more. You're going to want to stay until the end to hear something absolutely shocking. But speaking of shocking, we have the Raiden, which apparently is supposed to be pronounced Raiden, but I, I don't know if I can, I feel like I've just called it the Raiden for too many years. Like when I called the he and the Hein, like that was an easy swap. That was only a few months, but Raiden is pretty ingrained in me. Um, but yeah, this is not just your regular Degular Raiden. It is XXL size, um, 500 by 490, and it is soft pour on foam. Gone are the days where the Raiden could only be um, purchased in the mid or the X soft variant. They now have a Raiden soft and I am one of the reasons why this exists. I'm not going to say I'm the only reason it exists, but back when I was in Japan, I went to McDonald's with the artisan team and I asked, I was like, why, why was there no Raiden soft? I was like, could it just not be done? Or is it some like philosophical thing? And the way the artisan boss saw it was pretty much, you could either have a full speed experience with the mid with very little plushiness, or if you want the Raiden texture and just experience, with a lot of control, you could opt for the Xsoft variant. So the soft was just something that they never did, not really for any like major reason. It was just like, you know, they never felt the need to do it, but I'm very happy that they've uh, managed to release it. And I have been using this for a few days. It definitely is an adjustment because I'm kind of expecting it to perform like the Xsoft, but it's just not as plushy. Um, so I would say Raiden Soft, I mean, Raiden Soft in XXL, it's kind of hard to believe that this even exists. You tell this to like 2020 boards, you know, be like you're fucking you're trolling me yeah despite this being new goaded something everybody has wanted for a long time i'm not going to say that this is just objectively my number one mouse pad but i think that in terms of speedy cloth pads nothing really ever beat the raiden and now that they have the raiden soft it's just like man it's jover but yeah moving on from the raiden soft to a pad that actually might be the greatest of all time in my opinion we have none other than the he and soft this isn't a new pad from artisan obviously but this is a fresh xxl soft copy and it's like honest to god i i don't know how it's possible given the fact that i'm like the he ends number one shill of all time but i just forgot how good a he and soft is like the first day, first few hours, it literally does feel like sandpaper. The texture is so aggressive. I was like, wait, I kind of understand what people complain about. But then it just goes away, and you're met with a perfect mousepad experience. Like, the way the static friction just works so seamlessly with the dynamic friction, it is just the perfect speed pad with adequate stopping power. Like, I think some of these other hybrid pads do it well, but the problem is they're just fucking slow. Like, it's easy to have good control on a pad that's slow, but the Hien Soft this is not slow. It's fast and it has the God control. I literally, I feel like this is my first time reviewing the Heandy again because it's like, it's just so good. I feel like not everybody's using it. I wasn't using it. So like clearly people are fucking missing out. But yeah, Heand Soft, I mean, get yourself a fresh copy when Artisan opens orders back up. Yeah, that is another thing. They have temporarily closed their shop because they're just too goaded. People are ordering too many copies. And now this is the, one of the last um, pads to talk about in this video, and I'm going to have a full review out in less than two weeks. Um, this is the Key 83, the Rokaku. And I did speak about this pad before when I made my um, first Artisan unboxing video, and you can see potentially that this has a hexagonal weave, and what that does is it gives it a very consistent speed between the X and the 
Y axis. I would say that the Rokaku, it's 100% like a textured hybrid pad, but it's going to feel smoother on your arm than something like the Hien. I would say it's pretty similar in amount of texture to the Hayate Otsu, but I do find it, depending on skate combo, to be a little bit more controlled. And yeah, like I said, in the full review, I'll obviously go into more detail about the speed, how it compares to other textured pads, especially ones from Artisan, but on the top is the uh, Key 83, the Rokaku Soft versus the Hayate Otsu V2 Soft. So you can see um, similar speed. They do feel different on the arm. I would say the Otsu just still has the more like premium, like fucking out of premium feeling texture. I was trying to think of another word that I haven't used for the past like years of talking about the Otsu, uh, but really I had the perfect word. I don't know. So the Key 83 definitely going to be for people who just want some another type of hybrid textured pad from Artisan's lineup, but not as fast as the Hien or something. And yeah, the Key 83 is meant to launch in June. I don't know if they're going to have other colors besides the um, black, but yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update on, you know, where Artisan's lineup is going and also the Shidinkai V2 is dead. So yeah, sad to see, but following in the steps of the OG Shidinkai, Artisan is going to discontinue the Shidinkai V2. You might be like, why would they do such a thing? And tracking issues, supposedly, which I only experienced when I used the GPX with gaming surface mode on. But when I turned them off, I just did not have a single issue with any mouse on the Shidinkai V2, but apparently they were getting enough complaints to the point they just want to rework the Surface and eventually release a V3. So, I mean, the Shidinkai, it really fucking can't catch a break. This mouse pad keeps coming out, people love it, and then they're like, no more Shidinkais. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate, but people in the market for a Shidinkai, if you don't have one, I, I don't know what to say, honestly, but I will keep you posted on when the new one is going to be available. And last but not least, this is a real leak, and it's not confirmed. I don't have a copy, but there there may be another artisan mouse pad coming out at some point called the Hayabusa, which is going to be another one of those um, textured pads. I don't have one, but I just feel like if you stayed until the end of the video, you deserve that little tidbit of info. But that's going to be all. I will make an updated artisan tier list at some point after I um, post my reviews of the new pads. Uh, but if you guys want to see like an entire lineup roundup or whatever you want to see, let me know about artisan mouse pads because I'm happy to talk about these because they are purely great um but yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe let me know any other questions in the comments and peace out artisan